Today, I want to share my personal PUA mindset with you. I want to share the exact mindset that I have when I go out and approach women. Maybe <laughs> you will think that I'm crazy. Maybe you will think that this mindset doesn't work for you. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I just thought I'm going to share this with you because it really improved my game and it improved my efficiency and my effectiveness when it comes to approaching women, meeting women and especially getting their numbers and getting them on dates. As you know, I'm German and yes, I'm all about German efficiency. So here's what happened. <laughs> here's the story behind this mindset shift that I experienced. In November, I released a podcast with a 30-day approaching women challenge. So I gave you the challenge to approach one woman every day and to see how this changes the way you interact with women and how it improves your game. After this challenge, I started to think about it. Is it really a good idea to go out there with the intention, I approach women? Or is there a better way? Is there a better mindset? Maybe the mindset that I'm going to introduce to you right now works for you, maybe it doesn't. I would love to hear your opinion on it. The feedback was phenomenal. I received emails from guys who did their first approach. I received emails from guys who said that their confidence increased, that they feel better about themselves, that they finally take action. And I also received one email from a guy who actually told me that he met his girlfriend during the 30-day approach challenge. That's just awesome. He told me, I think it was on day 24, 25, that he approached a girl and he ended up dating her and now she's his girlfriend. I mean, those are the results that make me proud. However, there were also some issues that the guys who took this challenge experienced. And one of the issues was that they wasted too much time. You're walking around, then you see a girl, you make up an excuse why she's not your type, why she's too far away, then you walk around again, then you nervously fumble with your phone, then you pretend you're texting someone, then you look in the cafe and think, oh, I could just sit down now, then you see a girl, you look at her, she smiles at you, then you get nervous, and you're like, oh, no, she's too far away, oh, no, 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 the next one, the next one, the next one, and that's how you waste all your time. The second big issue that the guys were running into was that they messed up the approach because they weren't in the moment. So they already thought about doing the next approach because it was an approaching challenge and they weren't really in the moment. They couldn't focus on the interaction with the girl and then, of course, they messed up. And the biggest issue that the guys reported back to me and that I also experienced in the past, I admit it, yes, I admit it, sometimes I still experience it, that if I focus on the approach, if I go out there and say, I approach women, that I only focus on the approach on the first couple of seconds, on the preframe, the compliment, and maybe on the assumption and the qualification. But the closing? No, not so important. I mean, it's all about the approach, right? It's about approaching as many girls as possible. Then you forget the closing. Your closing is just, it's just blah, 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 wishy-washy, and it doesn't work. So these are the three main problems. That's as if you start a business and you measure your success by how many products you create and not by how many products you actually sell. And that's insanity. So I really sat down and thought about it. I thought, is there a better mindset? And yes, I made a shocking discovery. I discovered a mindset that works like gangbusters, at least for me. If you want, please share your opinion with me. Let me know if this mindset that I'm going to introduce to you right now works for you. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Everybody is different. I call it the three second game mindset. In case you've read my book Rise of the Phoenix, then you know about the three second rule. In my book, in one of the chapters, I don't even remember which one, but every chapter of my book Rise of the Phoenix is brilliant, so you have to download it and either read the PDF, ebook, Kindle or EPUB version or listen to the audiobook that you will get included when you buy my book Rise of the Phoenix. So, the three second rule is all about taking action and taking action fast. So whenever you see a beautiful girl you want to approach, you count one, two, three, and then you approach her. And what happens when I did what a lot of other dating coaches teach and what some of my mentors even taught me, when I just say, hey, just go out there and make a girl smile. That's great for the beginning when you really only want to approach, when you only want to get over your approach anxiety. But as soon as you want to close deals, get numbers and go on dates and bang girls, then this mindset is limiting. Yeah, it's a limiting mindset. 
because you just go out there and you don't even think about closing. As soon as she smiles after the compliment, you forgot about it and you go, the rest doesn't matter. And the problem when I go out and I say, hey, I have to get numbers now. I really have to get numbers. Let's say 10 numbers. First of all, I don't know if that's actually possible. Let's say I have a time window of two hours. Will I get 10 numbers? Maybe I will get them in one hour. Maybe I will get them in 20 minutes. Maybe I will only get one number that day. So that puts you under too much pressure. So what really works for me is that I say I play the three second game. It means when I decide to go out, I look at my phone, I look at the time, let's say it's 4.30 in the afternoon. And I go out and I say, okay, game starts, three second game. And then whenever I see a beautiful girl, it's my responsibility. It is my, yep, my pleasure in some way because I'm playing a game. I'm playing a game with myself. It's not a challenge. There's no pressure. It's just a game. But what I do then is whenever I see a beautiful girl, I walk up to her. I count one, two, three, and I go. Then I see the next girl. I go one, two, three, and I go. Of course, I always try to close the deal. But the whole point of going out and doing this is that I play a game. I'm having fun. And by rephrasing your intent, why you go out there, not because you want to approach women, not because you want to make girls smile, but, but because you want to play a game and you want to play the three second game. That means whenever you see a girl, you are forced to go one, two, three, bam, and then you approach her. This for me changed everything. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't help you. Maybe you think I'm crazy. And maybe, yeah, maybe it will change your dating life forever. Maybe you will pick up 10 times more girls. That's what you can do with this rule because you become way more efficient. You won't waste any time anymore. If you just go out there and say, hey, I approach girls, you don't focus on the clothes and you waste a lot of time because you look at a girl, you question yourself, you're getting nervous and then you don't do it. And the next one, it's the same shit all over again. But if you go out there playing the three second game, you're having fun because it's a game and you see a girl one, two, three, and you approach her. In my experience, when I tested this different mindset, I got twice as many phone numbers than I used to before. And even before, I was very good at being time efficient. And please let me know if it does the same for you. And if you want to find out more about the three second rule and all my other crazy seduction techniques, scientifically proven tricks, mindsets and strategies, feel free to check out my book Rise of the Phoenix. You will find the link in the description. And right before you click on the link in the description to find out everything about my audiobook and ebook course Rise of the Phoenix, it would be freaking amazing if you could leave a comment under this video. Write yes in the comments below if you are ready to test this mindset in field. Then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to smash the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Audio jump. Audio jump.